Joining me now is New York gubernatorial candidate Lee Zeldin. Congressman, uh, CNBC reported today that Hochul's donors are now sounding the alarm over your surge and begging her, begging her in these waning hours to pivot to crime. But I guess that advice wasn't taken all that seriously. Yeah, and the polls are going to close in just under 24 hours now. Uh, the time for a pivot to being a crime fighter has obviously come and gone. Uh, not only has she missed out on an opportunity to actually connect with voters on an issue that is most important to so many of them, uh, she's ridiculed them. When she says that uh, she doesn't understand why it's so important to me that we need to lock up criminals, that's a message that is sent to all New Yorkers. Uh, what do you do when you dig a hole? She kept digging. She went on MSNBC and then she said that this is a conspiracy. Uh, and then she says there were data deniers. So she kept digging. She went on CNN. What she didn't realize was that there was a side by side where next to her, while she's continuing this narrative that you're talking about, uh, they're showing all the different major crime categories that are going up. So what does she do? She went on MSNBC again, but the host actually cut her off and said, listen, I'm not safe. When I go to the pharmacy, everything's locked up and I'm not riding the subway. New Yorkers of all walks of life, forget about just Republicans, we're talking about independents and Democrats as well, have decided that you know, she's not up for the job. She's not going to be offering up bold solutions. She's not going to hold Alvin Bragg accountable for his refusal to enforce the law. She won't roll back pro-criminal laws like cashless bail. She's not going to unapologetically back our men and women in blue to give them the tools and resources they need to do their job. So as a result, come tomorrow, I believe that she's going to get fired by the voters of New York who want to take their streets back. Well, on NBC Nightly News, you'll be shocked to know that Lester Holt delivered a completely impartial report, Congressman. An issue finding traction for many campaigns is voter worries about crime. But as we found, the state of crime in America is not always what it appears to be. Tonight, fear is on the ballot. Vote like your life depends on it. Because it does. Fueled, some argue, not by reality, but by videos of rampant lawlessness and some unsettling headlines. Well, Congressman, the media clearly see how potent an issue crime is. And they are essentially, as I said earlier, picking up the baton from Hochul and company to say, look, this, you know, I'm not saying there's no crime, but it's not really as bad as people like you make it out to be. I mean, Lester Holt is playing this video of, of me on my front lawn with my wife and kids. We're right there. Just a few weekends ago, there was a gang drive-by shooting. My, my two 16-year-olds were at home at the kitchen table doing homework on a quiet Sunday afternoon. There was a bullet found about 30 feet away. Two people shot laying on the ground about 10 feet away. This is real life. It was the 1980s when elected officials were trying to convince the public that it was just a perception that there was rising crime. And it wasn't until the early 90s that New Yorkers of all walks of life, Republican, Democrat, Independent, decided enough. Don't try to tell me that this is just perception. Don't tell me there's nothing to see here. Look away. We want people in government to actually do what needs to get done to take back our streets and subways. Well, fast forward to 2022. Here we are again. And New Yorkers who are hitting their breaking point in this state, New York leading the entire nation out migration, one of the key aspects of that is the affordability of life of New York, attack on freedom, attacks on the quality of our education, but also safety. And they've decided, you know what, Kathy Hochul's not up for the job. Uh, we're, we're seeing strong support, great energy, good momentum. We just have to make sure everyone shows up and votes tomorrow. Vote like your life depends on it, because I believe that it does. Well, it's time for New York to make a decision. Do you want to save yourselves or not? I mean, if you don't want to save yourself, just keep doing what you're doing. But, Congressman, thank you and good luck tomorrow. Can't wait to watch. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.